Hi guys, here is Julie from Indigo Handmade Design. Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this sweater. It's made out of granny squares. It's a size medium, so small medium, but you can easily adjust this to any kind of size. So let's see what we need and jump into the tutorial. Okay, so to make this sweater you are going to need yarn of your choice so I am using acrylic yarn it's from Grindel happy um, acrylic 100% acrylic yarn recommend needle it's a 4 till 5 millimeter and it has 100 grams um, 250 meters so this is a category 3 yarn in addition to the yarn you are also going to need a 5 millimeter crochet hook a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook scissors yarn needle to weave in your loose ends and a measuring tape okay so let me clear this off and let's get started with the tutorial Okay, now uh, to make the back panel. So the back panel, it's worked from the left to the right or from the right to the left. And it's worked in um, rows. So we are going to start right here and then go down and up and down. So this is going to be the height of your uh, panel and this is going to be the height of your panel. So my panel is, the back panel is uh, 55, 55 centimeters wide. My bust measures 90 centimeters so it's going to be slightly oversized and it is um, let me see 40 42 centimeters long so we are also going to add uh, some ribbing or a edging down here so the panel it's automatically going to grow so to be longer now I'm going to show you how to start the panel so it's I have a total of 60 double crochets and worked over 36 rows again I've worked my panel with my 4.5 millimeter hook but for a larger size you can use a 5 millimeter hook and also then you are going to need a, a 5.5 or a 6 millimeter hook just for the chain okay now let me show you how to how to start so I'm not going to chain the same amount of chains so if you want to have the same panel you are going to chain a total of 62 so chain 62 with your 5 millimeter hook so we want our chain to be to be loose so I'm only going to make a few chains okay so go ahead and chain 62 and then once you have this done 
you are going to yarn over skip one two and three and in your fourth make your double crochet and then repeat one double crochet in each chain till the end and once you're at the end you are going to have a toe oh. but of course you are going to work with your 4.5 millimeter hook so excuse me about that okay so one double crochet in each chain till the end okay so this one here is the right side of your work now you are going to chain three and turn your work and this is the wrong side of your work this is your first double crochet and always when you are on the wrong side of your work you are going to work only in the front loop like so so this is your stitch this is your back loop and this is your front loop so on the wrong side you are working in the back loop only in the excuse me Ooh, what's wrong with me today in the front loop only so till the end of the row again you are going to have a total of 60 double crochet at the end of the row don't forget your last stitch so your last stitch is going to be on top of your three chains so this one here is going to be your last stitch now you are going to chain three again turn your work your first double crochet now you are on the right side of your work now you are going to yarn over and we are going to make our double crochets in the back loop so on the right side of your work you are going to work in the back loop only so remember front loop back loop and then again once uh, once you're at the end of the row don't forget your last stitch now i'm going to finish this row with you This is your last stitch right here right side chain three turn your work wrong side and now you are going to work in your front loop only okay so work like this so your pattern is going to be like so this is up and this is down this is going to be on the side so work like this for a total of 36 rows and then once you have this done you are going to chain one and uh, cut your yarn and pull through and then you are going to start working on the front panel so you are going to start the same you are going to chain 62 with your five millimeter hook and then you are going to work a total of 10 double crochet rows again on the wrong side you are working in the front loop and on the right side you are going to work in the back loop only and then I'll meet you back on the front panel to show you how to 
decrease for the neck opening okay so i'm going to work the rest all of camera and then meet you back okay so now for the front panel so as i said you are also going to chain a total of 62 chains and then work your double crochet rows so on the right side you are working in the back loop only and on the wrong side you are working in the front loop only you have a total of 60 double crochets and you are going to work for a total of 10 rows and then to create this um, opening it's like a, a boat opening i've decreased for a total of four rows so now let me show you how to decrease so let's pretend i have here 10 double crochet rows now you are going to i missed my last stitch so now you are going to chain three turn your work now you are on the right side of your work so you are working in the back loop only and you are going to make double crochets till you have I just got cut so now let's try again so you are going to work your double crochets till you have four stitches left so you are going to work over 56 double crochets I'm going to work with you till I have 4 stitches left Now we are going to decrease so we are going to double crochet two together two times so for this you are going to yarn over and we are still working in the back loop only okay so prepare for a double crochet and again yarn over and prepare for a double crochet you have now three loops on your half yarn over and pull through all of your all of your three loops if this was one decrease now we are going to decrease one more time so one and two in my last stitch so it's going to be your third chain three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all of your three loops now we are going to make a four decrease uh, rows so this was uh, row one now for row two you are going to chain only two you are going to turn your work you are on the wrong side of your work you are going to work in the front loop only and we are going to start right over with a decrease so this one here is your first stitch we are going to go in the next stitch front loop pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two one decrease and we are going to make another decrease prepare for a double crochet and in the next stitch unfinished double crochet like so yarn over and pull through three you have one decrease and two decreases okay now you are going to <coughs> finish your row just one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row and you are going to work in the front loop only and if you are a in, um, I do recommend you uh, 
going to be a stitch marker in your first stitch so this one here is your first stitch so that you know when you are on the right side of your work that you need to come to this as your last stitch so as I said you are going to work till the end of the row in the front loop only and then again at the end of the row you are going to chain 3 turn your work and now you are going to work in the back loop only because you are on the right side of your work so at the end of this row here you have a total of 58 stitches since we've decreased two now you are going to work one double crochet in each double crochet for a total of 54 double crochets and then you're going to decrease again and again to decrease we are going to double crochet two together one decrease and two decreases the second one now you can take your stitch marker off <coughs> And now we are going to make another decrease row. So you are going to chain two. So prepare for a decrease. This is your last stitch. So it corresponds to your chain two. Yarn over. And now you are on the wrong side of your work. So you are going to work in the front loop only. Just double crochet in your next stitch and put your stitch marker back so this is your first stitch this one here and now again decrease double crochet two together and now you are going to work in your remaining uh, remaining double crochets course work all in the front loop only this is your last stitch okay now <clears throat> we are done with the decreases now we are going to work for a total of eight double crochet rows so no decreases anymore you are going to chain three turn your work and then make one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row and now again you are on the right side of your work so you are working in the back loop only and don't forget your last stitch so this one here and to be your last stitch okay so you are going to have a total of 52 double crochets since we've decreased four times and each row you've decreased two stitches so two four six eight so you are going to have 52 double crochets and you are going to work for a total of eight rows okay so I'm going to work another row of camera and then I'll meet you back to show you how to make your increases. Okay, so once you have your eight rows done, you are going to chain three and turn your work. Now you are on the right side of your work, yarn over and 
make one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row till you have two stitches left so I have now two stitches left now we are going to increase now we are going to make two double crochets in the same stitch once and the double crochet in the next stitch twice so you've increased now you are going to chain three turn your work you are on the wrong side of your work so we are working in the front loop only we are going to increase in the very first stitch so this one here make another double crochet one increase in the next stitch and now work one double crochet in each double crochet that you have left till the end of the row okay and then you are going to chain three again turn your work and repeat these two rows one more time so you are going to increase in your last two stitches chain three turn your work increase in your very first stitch and increase in your next stitch so you are going to have again um the same amount of stitches you are going to have again 60 double crochets and once you have your increases done you are going to finish your panel by working one double crochet in each double crochet for a total of 10 rows okay so you have here 10 double crochet rows four um, double crochet decrease rows eight double crochet rows four increase double crochet rows and then ten double crochet rows okay so um, go ahead and work your front panel and then meet me back again okay now take your second color <coughs> make a slip knot and now we are going to work one row of single crochet all around our front and also around the back panel so i'm going to start with my front panel the right side of your work is going to face you and I'm going to reattach to my very first stitch so this one here and right away make a single crochet now like so now go ahead and make one single crochet in each stitch you are working with your 4.5 millimeter hook and if you are making a larger size and you are working with a 5 millimeter hook you are of course going to take your 5 millimeter hook okay so i'm going to work um, this off camera and i'll meet you back right here so the shoulder part okay so now let me show you this one here is going to be your last stitch okay so your third chain single crochet now i'm going to make another single crochet in the same chain like so and now we are going 
to work on the shoulder and here is going to be your shoulder seam then now you have your double crochet rows in each double crochet row we are going to make two single crochets one and two your next double crochet row one and two and again one and two one and two now all the way till you meet your first increase okay. and here again there are still double crochet rows so you are also going to make two double crochets where your increases are two and this is your last um, increase right here one and two and now you have your eight double crochet rows so you are going to make your two single crochet in each double crochet row so I'll meet me back once you're here okay now these are your four decrease um, rows so you are also going to make two single crochets in each double crochet row like so Now again you are going to make two single crochets in each double crochet row and remember on the other side you are going to make one double crochet in each stitch and in the first stitch you are going to make two uh, single crochets okay so work like this all around your front panel and then once you are at the end of your round you are going to slip stitch to your first stitch chain one uh, and cut your yarn and you are also going to work around your back panel okay so to make the slip uh, we are going to make five of the hard grannies and five of the plain grannies and then we are going to attach them by making the um, surface slip stitch and we are also going to work around the sleeve panel one row of single crochet so for the wrist we are going to make this ribbing here now let me tell you how wide my sleeve is so it is um, almost now it is 47 centimeters so wide and we are going to put the sleeve like so in half and this side is going to be um, sewn on the front and on the back panel and here is where we are also going to sew our sleeve or we are going to close by making the surface slip stitch and the sleeve is it is 
about um, 56 centimeters so in total now I'm measuring only with the granny squares there are 46 centimeters and the wrist is going to be 10 centimeters so as I said the sweater is for a size small or medium so for a larger size you can work these granny squares by using your 5 millimeter crocheting hook so for a large or a extra large what you also can do is work so once you have all of your panels joined together you can work on this side and also on this side one two or three rows of uh, granny stitch and this way you are going to make your sleeve wider and also if you need to adjust the length of the sleeve you can work uh, the wrist you can make the wrist longer or you can also work the rows in the granny stitch the rows that you need to adjust the length of the sleeve okay so i've already made one sleeve as you see and i've also worked four of my heart um, granny squares and i've also worked four of my plain granny squares now, now i'm going to work with you one heart uh, granny square and one plain granny square to show you how this goes okay so to make the heart granny square you are going to take uh, your second color so your color b and you are going to make a magic ring and i'm going to work with my 4.5 millimeter crochet hook so pull up a loop and now you are going to chain four this is one double crochet and a one chain space now you are going to yarn over and inside of the magic ring make three double crochets so one two and three chain one and again three double crochets and three chain one three double crochets chain one now you are going to make two more double crochets inside of the magic ring now since we've started with a chain four so these first three chains are one double crochets so we are going to have four groups of three double crochet now you are going to slip stitch into your third <coughs> chain to close like so and slip stitch in the next one chain space and now to step up and start the next round chain four this is going to be again one double crochet and a one chain space in between yarn over and inside of the same one chain space make three double crochets and now without chaining you are going to yarn over and then go to your next one chain space and make three double crochets chain one and three more double crochets all in the same one chain space 
one, two, and three. Without chaining, yarn over and then go to the next one chain space and repeat three double crochets, chain one, and three more double crochets, all worked in the same one chain space. Without chaining, yarn over to the next one chain space, repeat. So three double crochets, chain one, and three more double crochets, two and three. And now, without chaining, yarn over and go to this one chain space you've started and make two double crochets to complete your last corner. Now you are going to slip stitch into your third chain, like so. Slip stitch in your one chain space, chain four to step up, so one double crochet and one chain, yarn over, and now in this round we are also going to introduce our main color so in the same one chain space make first two double crochets and now we are going to make our third double crochet but we are not going to finish so you have now two loops on your hook now take your main color make a slip knot and we are going to finish our third double crochet with the main color like so now we are going to work over the red so yarn over and right here in between these two groups of double crochet we are going to make three double crochet but the last one we are going to switch again to red so I have one I have two double crochets and now the third one yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and switch to red and finish your third double crochet like so. Now we are going to work over our um, ivory color. So yarn over and now in the corner we are going to make three double crochets, one chain and three double crochets. So one, two, three, chain one, one, two, and three. And now we still need to make one group of uh, double crochets with our red color. And in the last one, in the last double crochet, we are going to switch again to ivory. So go in your next space right here and make one two and three don't finish okay now we are going to switch so we are going to work over the red finish your third um, double crochet with your next color and now as you can see we are going to work the corner with ivory and in the last uh, stitch in the last double crochet we are going to switch to red so make your corner so I have one two and three chain one and one two and three and now we are going to switch 
change to red and work over the white over the ivory and we are only going to work this one here so one two and three and now we are going to switch again to ivory so finish your double crochet work over the red so yarn over and make your corner one two three double crochets chain one and three more double crochets and in the last one we are going to switch again to red so take your red and work over your ivory finish your double crochet and now we are going to finish this round with our red color now you still need to make your last corner so your last two double crochets and then slip stitch to your third chain like so slip stitch in your one chain space and now we are going to make this last round here with our red color so you are going to step up with chain four and make three double crochets and the last one don't finish and switch to white to ivory and work over your red and now we are going to work in between these groups here so this is basically just the um, granny stitch so one two and three and now go back so this one we are going to hide in later on to the next space and make one two and your third don't finish switch to red again to finish and now we are going to make the corner with the red plus one group right here see so we have the corner and this cluster here so three double crochets two and three chain one and three more double crochets okay the next cluster one two and in your last one you are going to switch again to ivory to close and now we are going to work all the way around with our ivory color and once you've made here your last cluster here we are going to switch again to red so i'm going to work around off camera and then meet you back right here to show you how to finish this round so again in the corner we are going to repeat so the same three double crochets chain one and three double crochets okay so don't forget this okay so i've made my cluster here this is my last double crochet now we are going to switch color again so finish your last double crochet work over your white over your ivory and then make your granny stitch in the next space <coughs> and now we still need to finish our last corner so make your two double crochets oops and then slip stitch in your third chain like so now chain one and we are going to <coughs> 
cut our red color so we are finished now and pull through and now we are going to make two rounds of the granny stitch so go ahead and I'm going to wrap this tail around my white like so now chain four one two three and four this is at the beginning of the next round and also of the corner now yarn over and make three double crochets in the same one chain space now go to your next uh, space and make your three double crochets so all of your cluster and here in the next space and one here and now your corner so three double crochets and then chain one and three more double crochets in the same one chain space and then uh, you are going to repeat all the way around and then make another round of the granny stitch and you are going to slip stitch to your third chain, chain one, cut your yarn and pull through. So this is it. So you are going to make a total of five heart um, granny squares. Okay, so now to make the plain granny square, so it's nothing fancy it's basically the same as your um, heart granny square is just worked in one color so you're going to make a magic ring pull up a loop and chain four one double crochet one chain and now in the magic ring you are going to make your clusters so three, three double crochets, one, two and three, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, Three double crochets, chain one. So you have now three clusters. Now we are going to make two double crochets and close your magic ring like so. Pull tight and slip stitch to your third chain so this one here and again I'm working with my 4.5 millimeter hook now slip stitch to your one chain space chain four one two three and four yarn over and in the same one chain space make your three double crochets without chaining go to your next one chain space and make your corner so three double crochets chain one and three more double crochets or work in the one chain space And again to your next one chain space make your corner 
So chain one and three more double crochets. Without chaining, make your next corner one, two, and three. Chain one and one, two, and three double crochets. And now finish your last corner or your very first corner by making two double crochets. And then slip stitch to your third chain like so. Slip stitch in your one chain space and then step up by chaining four. And basically this is it. So you are going to make first your three double crochets then work in between your cluster corner in between corner in between corner in between and then finish your first corner and we are going you are going to work like so for a total of six rows okay and then once you have all of your um grannies done i'm going to show you how to close your grannies by uh, making the um, surface a surface slip stitch so to join your grannies okay now to finish your sleeve as you can see i've joined my um, granny squares with the um, um, surface slip stitch joining method so go ahead and take your granny squares now you can place your granny squares the way you prefer so i'm going to place them like so let me pull it out okay now the point of the heart is going to face down the sleeve so one heart granny square and then one plain and then one heart so we are going to have three granny squares and then i'm going to put a plain one here and then this one here and again a plain one and plain um, heart plain and heart so you have three grannies three rows now we are going to start joining them and for this i'm going to take my five millimeter hook because it is a very important to keep a loose tension otherwise your grannies are going to shrink like so so go ahead and make first a slip knot And now search for your one chain so this is your corner now we are going to work on only on the inside loops of our stitches so this one here is my chain go so in your inside loop your working yarn is going to be all the way in the middle of your work now pull your um, slip knot through and now search also on the other granny 
your one chain the inside loop only yarn over and pull through like so so now you join that your um, red yarn now you are going to go into the next stitch so keep a loose tension work with a um, larger hook size your working yarn is in the middle next stitch the inside loop on your left hand side branding the inside loop of your next stitch yarn over and pull through three in the next stitch the inside loop working yarn in the middle under your work left hand side granny inside loop yarn over and pull through three remember keeping a loose tension in the next stitch the inside loop on the left the inside loop yarn over and pull through three so this is how you are going to join all of your brandies you are going to work till you reach your chain so chain on the right side chain on the left side and then you are going to jump to your next two brandies chain search for your one chain the inside loop the inside loop of your left hand um, granny and work like this till you have all of your uh, three rows done and then you are going to join on this side and also in between your grannies like so okay so I'll meet you back once I've joined that all of my granny squares okay so once you've joined all of your granny squares now you are going to take your 4.5 millimeter crochet hook your red yarn or whatever color you have as your color B make a slip knot and now we are going to work around our um, sleeve panel one row of single crochets um, now hold your panel like so so the a point of the heart is facing down because right here it's going to be the wrist so I'm going to start with the side now rejoin into your chain by making a single crochet now single crochet in each stitch like so it's very simple because you already have all of these um, double crochets and I'll meet you back here okay so to make this uh, easier for you let me pull in okay now you have this three double crochets here so this is one single crochet in your next so your second double crochet your third double crochet now you have your one chain space so you are going to work in your one chain space now you are going to work um, in a, in the reach of the joining single crochet in there now your next granny you have 
first your one chain space and now one two three your next um, cluster of three double crochets so this is how you are going to single crochet over these um, ridges here and then I'll meet you back here okay so I've worked around the side of the sleeve <coughs> Now I reach the corner and in this one chain space you are going to make three single crochets like so. Now you are going to start over by making one single crochet in each stitch all the way till you meet your next corner and in this one chain space you are going to make again three single crochets and then go down the side of the sleeve one single crochet in each stitch and meet me down here <laughs> okay so i've worked all the way down my last single crochet is in this one chain space now for the ribbing as you can see it is very tight so the ribbing measures let me see <coughs> 70 centimeters so it is stretchy and my wrist measures 60 16 um, centimeters so you need to measure the wrist or um, hold your hand like so and measure your your hand it is 20 centimeters so when we are going to sew um, the sleeve together the wrist should easily go over your hand now we are going to make one decrease row to prepare the work for the um, ribbing and for this we are going to decrease three stitches together so if your wrist is larger or you just want to have a larger um, wrist um, go ahead and decrease only two stitches or two stitches and three stitches so the way you prefer so i'm going to decrease three stitches together so just single crochet three stitches together like so and also take a stitch marker and mark your first stitch now the next three stitches single crochet three together the next three okay so work like this till till you reach this very first stitch okay now you are going to slip stitch to your first stitch chain one turn your work and make one single crochet in your very first stitch now take another stitch marker and place it in your very first stitch now you are going to make one single crochet in each stitch and at the end of the row you are going to have a total of 21 single crochets okay and now <clears throat> for the ribbing we are going to chain 11 now we are going to work 
all the way down the chain so single crochet in your second chain from the hook so one two three four So you have you are going to work over these 10 single crochets all the way down the single crochet row. Now you are going to slip stitch into your next two stitches so one and two. Turn your work. And now we are going to work into the back loop only skip your first two stitches and single crochet in the back loop into your third stitch one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, and the last stitch. I like to single crochet as usual, so I'm going to go under my both loops and then chain one, turn your work. The first stitch I'm going to single crochet as usual and my remaining nine single crochet I'm going to single crochet into the back loop only the last stitch like so slip stitch into your next two stitches one two turn your work skip your next two single crochet in the back loop only in your third stitch Okay, so this is how you are going to make the ribbing. So <clears throat> work all the way down this single crochet row and this is going this is your last stitch. Once you have this done, you are going to chain one, cut your yarn and pull through. Okay, and now take your front and your back panel and um, sew your shoulders together so you can do this with your yarn needle by sewing the shoulders like so so the right side of the work is facing each other of the panels and you are going to so in each stitch uh, your 10 uh, double crochet rows or you can do this with um, with a slip stitch a surface slip stitch joining method so as we've made here for for the sleeves now um, go ahead and do what you prefer and once i have this done i'll meet you back to show you how to work around your um, neck opening okay so once you've made your shoulder seams it's time to 
work around your neck opening for this take your 5 mm crochet hook make a slip knot and rejoin on the left hand side of your sweater so this one here is going to be the left hand side rejoin to your first stitch with a single crochet and now chain two and we are going to make puff V stitches so in the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through all of your loops chain one and another puff stitch in the same stitch so yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop again and yarn over pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through all of your loops and chain one now you are going to skip the next stitch and in the next make again one puff v stitch so for the puff stitch you are going to go in the stitch three times and yarn over and close chain one and make another puff stitch in the same stitch just like so and yarn over pull through chain one skip one and in the next make your puff v stitch okay so um, this is it this is how you are going to work all around your neck opening and meet me back once you're at the end of the round at the end of the round you are going to slip stitch in your third chain chain one and cut your yarn and your neck opening it's now done it's very puffy so if you want you can tuck this down with your uh, yarn needle so so around your opening but i'm going to leave it like this so you can sew this down like so if you prefer okay now go ahead and attach um, sew your sleeves on and make your side seams and i'll meet you back for the bottom of the sweater okay so now to finish the bottom of your sweater you are first going to take your color p make a slip knot and take your sweater and rejoin right here on the side seam by making a single crochet and now pull your loop high we are also going to work um, puff v stitches so this counts as your first puff um, stitch so one two and three yarn over pull through all of your loops chain one yarn over and make another puff stitch in the same stitch so one two and three and without chaining you are going to yarn over skip one two three and in your fourth stitch you are going to make your puff v stitch one puff chain one and another puff stitch in the same stitch and again without chaining skip one two three and make your puff stitch in the next stitch so your v puff stitch and three again skip one two three and in the next make your puff v stitch okay so work like this all around the bottom of your sweater and then i'll meet you 
back once I'm here. Okay, so once you're at the end of the row, you are going to slip stitch in this first stitch like so and then slip stitch in your one chain space pull up your loop high and now we are going to make our puff v stitches in this one chain space one two and three close chain one one Two, three, close and without chaining go to your next puff V stitch and make your puff V stitch like so. Chain one, one, two, and three, and close. Okay, now work like this. Um, for as many rounds as you need. I'm going to leave you on the screen how many rounds I've made. So guys, I'm at the end of my tutorial. Thank you for watching and for joining me today. I see you soon with a new one. Bye bye.